Uh, I'm Bethany May Howard and I'm a sophomore on the women's soccer team. I'm from Glastonbury in England. It's in like the southwest. The biggest city is probably Bristol, mainly, but there's not a lot around there to be honest. Um, well, because in England you can't really combine your sports and academics at like a university level, like in the same way you can over here. Like there's no scholarships or anything like that, and the, the standard at university level is not as high. Uh, well, the coach contacted me, and um, he's from well. He says he's from England, he's actually from Jersey, which is an island off England, it's closer to France really. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he contacted me and it all sounded really good and like the location was good. I always wanted to go to New York and visit that, which I've managed to do like, a lot over here. Experiencing a different culture is always exciting, so I thought I'd go for it. Uh, I'm a history major, I'm a French minor. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I've been asked that so much and people are always like, do you want to be a teacher? I don't think I could be a teacher, I don't have the patience for that. Um, I, on I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do, but we'll just see where life takes me, somewhere. Uh, it was unreal, like the whole going into the playoffs when we knew we had a, a home game against Siena, when we, like, the whole thing was just unreal, like we were winning that game and then they tied it up with like five minutes to go, we were absolutely devastated. Um, but then we scored again with like one minute to go and it was insane, it was like just a whole roller coaster. Then we got, when we drew Monmouth, um, and Monmouth have beaten us three times in the last two years, last time in the semi-final. Um, so we were more ready than ever to go and win that game. Um, and it was at their place, um, a night game, so they had like a big crowd as well. Um, and to go out there and like get a clean sheet, a shutout, and win 1-0 was unreal. Then we played Fairfield, who we played for the first conference game, we should have beaten them, but just couldn't find the back of the net all game. They came down, had one shot and scored it. So we lost them earlier, um, but yeah, winning that was insane, like it went to penalties. I was a bit upset because <laughs> we were winning 1-0 and then they had a free kick from like half a mile away and she launched it in and I accidentally punched it into our own net, which was a bit stupid. <laughs> but, um, so I was gutted, I thought I'd just lost us the MAC final, but uh, it went to penalties, we were practicing them, practicing them and we won. We got to go to Seattle, which was incredible, but it was just unreal, like, unreal. My favourite colour is yellow <laughs> because it's a happy colour and I asked my mum once what her favourite colour is because I didn't have one and she said yellow so I was like oh I love yellow. One I guess because it's the number I play in and yeah I don't really know, I don't think about my favourite number much. <laughs> um, it was probably the win in the Mac. Like that was just unreal, it didn't hit, I mean it still hasn't really hit. I don't know, it's going to sound really weird but I just walked over here and I miss being able to like just walk to places like we're a bit isolated over here um, like the town I'm from is just really interesting and so much like it's the best place that people watch I miss just sitting there I miss my family as well um I'm a bit of an odd one I don't really like the stuff that's coming out in the charts at the moment I don't know I prefer, like U2 is one of my favorite bands love a bit of them um Arctic Monkeys Rolling Stones love that sort of stuff <laughs> uh probably Twitter because you can post like three times a day and people don't get annoyed at you and uh, it's just funny isn't it? There's funny people on Twitter, 